take the dissolvent force and I should go to zero and we need one moment equation again the choice of A will be a good choice and that should be zero so those are the two <coughs> equations of equilibrium and this equation <coughs> should be uh, there is a force A so you have that force plus you have the force P B C so you add that force plus you have the another force W and all of that should add up and it should go to zero so every force you have in your problem you simply add it and that should go to zero then for the moment it shows the point A we already have a couple which is MA you put it right at the beginning then we need a moment of this about point A we're looking at point A and the force TBC that moment plus we need one more moment we need again the point A up the weight W because those are only forces so you need the moment of those forces about point A and again all of that should add up to zero so that's all the solution procedure that is you take every force you have in your problem you add it and that sh should add to zero then you take any couple you have plus any moment due to the forces by the point you choose and all of that should add up to zero and once we have these equations the next step will be to basically write everything in vectors and then solve it A is already known in the vector form so we don't have to worry about that W is <coughs> easy to write we know it's the magnitude is 300 it's in the Z direction it's going in the opposite of Z so <coughs> that should be the force W then TBC since we need this and this is going to be the unknown magnitude and a unit vector going from B to C so you get TBC you go BC over BC uh, that means we need coordinates for I mean A is known A is simply 0 0 0 we need the coordinates of B and we need the coordinates of C B is an X or Y plane so Z immediately goes to 0 then th there is a one more dimension here that's the dimension goes from here to here that's 6 feet so the second coordinate here should be 6 and you're going negative 4 in the x you give that as negative 4 then <coughs> C it's an x or z plane so y should be 0 and then z should be 2 and then you have x I think that's negative 1 this here will be TBC and <coughs> take the C so we basically have negative 1, 0 and 2 those are the coordinates of C then you have P, so you subtract P, so that's negative, negative 4, then you have negative 6, then you have negative 0. So this 
times of i, this times of j, and this times of k. This is going to be positive 4 minus 1, it will be a 3. That's going to be negative 6, and that's going to be 2. Which means the length will come out to be 3 square, negative 6 square, and a 2 square. The bottom is a 9, 36 is 45, 49, that will be 7. So the force will be 3 seventh PBCI, 6 seventh TBCJ, 2 seventh TBCK. That, well that's what we get as force TBC. Okay, so <coughs> we need to add three such equations. We need this here, this, and this. So <coughs> I have a choice. I could take all of those forces and put them together and then write a long equation. Or I could just look at the components. That means I have some the forces in x. Or we take the x component from A, which is AX, we take the x component from here, that's 3 7 TBC, and this will add up to 0. Then we sum the force in the y direction. We're looking at the y component, which is AY. Then we have negative 6 7 TBC, that will go to zero. Then we sum the C components and we get AZ. Then we have